Okay, I'm going to do uh, problems number one and two together on 27A assignment. This is the one with the football players and the running and the lifting and uh, some pretty straightforward stuff, I hope. So, um, this was the first one was running 40 yards, so mean, standard deviation, and minimum. And the question was um, based on the relationship between mean, standard deviation, and minimum time, is it reasonable to believe it's roughly normal? Um, so they only want you to use this information. So what I did was I took the minimum point, 4.4, subtracted the mean, divided by the standard deviation to figure out how many standard deviations away from the mean the minimum point was. And the minimum point's only 1.33 standard deviations away from the mean, which means in order to have all our data in there, if I'm here, I'm not going over very far this way, I'm going to wind up going farther that way, right? So it's likely skewed right. It's kind of looking like that. Um, you can think about this also logically, if you're dealing with running, you're going to have um, a whole bunch of guys in the middle, some fast guys, but then the slower, 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 slower times are going to stretch it out uh, more to the right. But the fact that the minimum isn't far enough away leads you to believe there's more on the other side, so it's probably skewed right. Then they just ask you to find a z-score of this next guy uh, and interpret the z-score. So his raw score minus the mean divided by a standard deviation, so he's got a z-score 2.4. We did this in class a bunch of times, and a lot of people made the same mistake, where I asked you to interpret it, and you said the player is 2.4 standard deviations away from the mean. You can't use away, you have to be more specific. It's either above the mean or below the mean. So it's 2.4 standard deviations above the mean. And they give you these two players, and they give you their running time and their lifting time. I already did the math, just kind of want to um, go through all of it. So, uh, time to run 40, how much they lifted, and then it said uh, running and lifting were about the same like importance, so who do you pick? So I found their z-scores. So a z-score, speed was negative 1.2, weight was 2.4, speed here was negative 0.2, weight was 2.6. Who do I pick? So what I did was, relatively close, b is a little bit better, farther apart here. Remember, the negative z-score for speed means he's faster. So negative means good in this point. So sometimes that's a little tricky to remember. So this guy is way faster than this guy. Just a little bit not as strong. So since they're considered equal, this gap's bigger. So we're going to pick player number or player person A. And then problem number two. Uh, some pretty straightforward stuff. We got a little chart. First question was... Uh, just a conditional probability question was probability of um, given that they're a male, party Y, 48 over 200, 24%. And then it asks the next question, are they independent? So are male and registered for party Y independent? Uh, normally we'd run a chi-square test, and you can do that normally, but notice in this problem they said uh, using the ch table above, right, using the probability. So they want us back to our old way, which is probability of A given B equals probability of A. The probability of party Y given male is what we just did is 24%. Then I found the probability of just Y, which is 33.6%, not equal, therefore not independent. And the last question says, we got this other township. Um, the proportion of registered voters for WXY are the same as Franklin Township. So I found those proportions first. So uh, I just went back up to these ones, right? So W was 17%, roughly X was 48%, Y was 33%. And then it said, given that gender and uh, voter party are independent, complete the graph. So if they're independent, what that means is 17% of the females should be in W, 17% of the males should be in W, 48% of the females should be X, and so on. So they should be the same. These two things should be exactly the same, and they should match that percentage. Okay, so that's it for problems one and two.